Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of year where NBA 2K promises a bunch of things that'll never actually be implemented. Before we get into it, let's get something crystal clear. If y'all see me playing NBA 2K22, it's because I got it for free. They give me the game for free. I don't know why, because I shit on the game. 2K21, I played the game for like two weeks. I turned that shit off because it's trash. You see me playing it this year, because I got it for free. And if it's ass, I will turn it off and let y'all know. But for the time being, since a new article with some new gameplay features have been revealed for NBA 2K22, let me pretend like I care so I can get some views. We're gonna read this article together and share our thoughts on what's going on with NBA 2K22. So first things first, if you can't see right there, for all the people who are impatient, this article only takes about five minutes and 42 seconds to read. How do they measure how long it takes to read an article? You're assuming everybody can read on the same reading level. We know most people who play 2K have a sixth grade reading level. <laughs> So on-court gameplay, offense, breaking down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos, precision jump shooting, dunking in traffic, and blah, 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 blah. All I see is that first sentence that what matters to me. It says, breaking down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos. I'm pretty sure all the dribble gods in the park are going to love that. Please, I hope it's not overpowered. But also it says, basketball IQ and stick skills play an even bigger role in separating the top offensive players. Now, I believe the stick skills part but basketball IQ, when has basketball IQ ever mattered in NBA 2K? All you gotta do is learn how to cheese the fucking game. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Defense, a completely revamped shot contest and blocking system highlights an arsenal of new defensive tools at your disposal. Playing suffocating defense on the perimeter and in the paint has never felt more rewarding, giving elite defenders the ability to truly change the outcome of the game. Now, this sounds great, a lot of fancy words. I'm liking what I'm hearing because that's actually the main reason, for those of you unaware, that I stopped playing NBA 2K21 Next Gen on the PS5. Uh, it was way too easy to get dunked on. It didn't matter what position you played. You can have like max interior defense. Everybody was dunking on everybody. And when you went into the wreck, it just, it was not fun. So I turned this shit off like two weeks later. I'm like, no, thank you. So they're saying that they fixed it. But once again, seeing is believing. One thing I would like to see improved on defense though, is I'm tired of people finding infinite amounts of space on the baseline. It's baseline cheese has been in the game since like 2K14, maybe even earlier. I don't know. Motherfuckers go to the baseline and and they should go out of bounds when you play solid defense, but for some reason, they're able to just step over you and find all this space and then hit a dunk or an easy layup. I really hope they find a way to get rid of this, but once again, seeing is believing. But the seasons we scroll down and then they're talking about my team in this article. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, uh, when it comes to my team, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you. are a fucking nutcase if you play this game, bro. You motherfuckers be spending rent money on fucking digital cards that expire in a year. A new city and a new neighborhood, oh my god. The biggest online basketball community gets two very different makeovers in 2K22. PS5 and Xbox Series X will be a step up in hoop and an all new version of the city. And then on the last gen, uh, it'll be set in the high seas. Take your best my player builds and express yourself through both the games and the styles in each, un each unique online experience. So on one hand, it's like kudos to them because it sounds like we're getting new parks on last and current gen. But on the other hand, it's like, I don't want to go to the city. I, I'm sorry, I don't want to skateboard, lagging up this. I just want to play the game, man. I just want to ball. I hope the game freaking works. And then it's cool that last gen is also getting some new parks on top of a Mickey Mouse cruise or something like that. It'd be really cool if like there was a mode or an event where like you hit a big icicle and then it causes the ships to sink and then whoever scores wins or something like that. They can call it like the Titanic mode or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> One new interesting thing I'm seeing in this uh, the city for next gen is it says an all new quest system for 2K22 engages my players with creative content while offering new ways to level up and earn rewards in this re-envisioning of the PS5 and Xbox Series X basket basketball communities. Uh, what I'm getting out of this is they're just gonna do like daily, I mean, I could be wrong, but like daily events, like get five dunks in the park, but they're just gonna call it all new quest system. Maybe it'll be like last, the last version where like you'll have to go talk to an NPC and they'll be like, hey man, I've been in the park all day. It'd be really cool if my favorite street ball player hit five dunks today. And you go hit five dunks and you get extra VC. That's what I'm gonna guess it is because I'm not gonna give too much creativity points to 2K, but I could be wrong. Maybe it will be better. Matchmaking options are coming to the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. The cities opens up with a new and quicker alternatives to get into online hoops. My players can enter select matchmaking 
can build uh place in the immediate competition matchmaking sessions will be available for a number of game types that will contribute to the my player progress um all right this is a lowercase w and the reason i give this is a lowercase w i like i said i hate i was just complaining about it i hate the city i don't like running around in the park if i just want to hop into a game and hop into the park this is cool now there's going to be matchmaking but the reason i give it a lowercase w is because i mean like it's matchmaking this should have been in the game a long time ago like welcome to 2009 nba 2k we got matchmaking but uh i lowercase w i'm not going to complain that there are uh things in the game that that we needed that improved in 2k22 dreams and ambitions in my career stretch beyond the hardware floors players can now pursue side ventures to build a profile in lucrative and trending spaces who gives a fuck like i i, I want to play basketball and not be a digital mogul <laughs> rush up against the fashion world or the art of promotion will drive your success as a mogul that's so fucking funny i swear to god i did not read this part i, I don't know whatever that's total coincidence i like what i'm seeing in this article in terms of the gameplay changes but until i actually see it in motion and also see how the community tries to break the game because unfortunately that's what the 2k community does instead of try to just open the game up and have fun everybody tries to hop on it and try to find some way to get an advantage over the other way and usually that advantage is super cheesy um at least 2k it sounds like they're trying but until i actually get my hands on it i don't know also i would have liked to see news that women are confirmed to be in the park or the city uh that would have been cool because i want to be one of the weirdos that plays as a woman and dunks on everybody because i for some reason like it makes people mad i get it's not realistic but it makes people mad and i play games to have fun so if i can ruin your day by dunking on you with a woman because you're a fucking weirdo I'll do it. But yeah, that's the latest NBA 2K22 news. Nothing too crazy. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited. Also, Ronnie2K, if you see this video, uh, please fix the servers. Uh, I can imagine how frustrating it'll be if we're riding on a boat and it's lagging and then somehow the boat ends up in the middle of the highway. That should actually, that'd be fucking fun.